Perfect. Going to just like that. It's good. Okay, then we're going to the Bye. to Hawaii. Bye. Oh, yes. <laughs> we're going to the airport. Good, good thoughts. <laughs> Hi everyone, please join me on this special day where I operate on my father-in-law. A lot is at stake here. Not only is he an amazing man who deserves the best vision, but I'll have to answer to my wife after all this. And just so you know, I would never kill myself. <laughs> Kidding aside, I wanted to share this video with you so you can see what it's like on the day of cataract surgery. My father-in-law doesn't speak too much English, but he understands if one speaks slowly. What surgical technique do I use and which lens implant do I put for him? During this video, I'll be narrating what we are doing through an earpiece that I'm wearing. Thank you so much for joining and I hope you find this video helpful. <laughs> so we just uh, cleaned his eye with the antiseptic called Betadine. And now that it's all clean, we're going to apply drapes to the skin, the eyelids to make sure that his eye, his eyes, that his surgical eye stays sterile. So we cover up everything else around the eye with a drape, with a sterile drape. We apply you know, the adhesive part over the eyelashes to make sure the eyelashes are out of the way. And then we're gonna make a little opening in the drape for the eyelid holders. Even though we're working just on the eye and we're not going to get elbow deep in anything, we want to make sure that we minimize chance of infection by covering anything that can be covered. So that way the eye stays very clean. Now I have the camera going as well, this one. There's a bright light. It's going to be very bright at first, but your eye will get used to it. Okay. All right. Baba. Can you look down towards the light? Yes, that's perfect. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Good job. Good job. As best as you can stay there. <laughs> that's very good. Most of his symptoms are due to inability to see small print far away or close up. He has a short eye. He's uh, farsighted, hyperopic presbyopic, and he has some glare with lights. All right, but before we start, make sure everything looks good. All right. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good. Look right at the lights. There's a couple lights. Look at the bottom one. Perfect. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to nick the little vessels right there. Numbing drops. They sting a little bit. Sorry. Stings a little bit. It burns a little bit. My father-in-law is the most patient man. He will never complain, even if it hurts. So... Even if it stings, he wouldn't complain. So I have to make sure that I assess his discomfort based on flinching. Because I know he won't complain. He won't say anything. I need to make sure that he's not flinching as I do stuff. I like the triplanar incision. I used to do biplanar, but I just think it's 
best incision is triplanar. Make that little group first. That's really the difference. Okay. Now he has a big pupil, so we want to center it, center and size the rexus appropriately, considering he has a big pupil. So it has some wrinkling there, but not too bad. So making sure his zygotes are okay. I think they're fine. Because he has a short AC, I'm going to make sure that I don't lift the forceps up too high. Because if they go too high, then I can bump into the cornea, corneal endothelium. And that's right about 5.1 millimeter raxus. Okay. And now, now we're going to do the hydro dissection, but I burp out some viscoelastic first. And I do this just so that the Pressure doesn't build up too high in the eye when I do this. Then the hydro dissection, tilt it back. Maybe approach the other side as well. Just let some fluid to flow, tapping it down, and then rotating. The more you rotate, of course, you can loosen the cortex. Just like how Neto Rosatelli does it. I love his technique with the chopper. And then uh, now we got the fake emulsification. Doesn't seem too dense of a cataract. Seems on the smaller side, so I'm I'm gonna go light on the energy. Go in without hydration for this part, just in case there's decimate trauma from it. I watch Brian Kim videos. Shout out to you. You have nice videos. Now we have irrigation on, and do a little bit of vacuum just to make sure that there's no clogging of the then go probe before you fake up so you don't get a wound burn. Then I'm going to start grooving. Create some space for both instruments as I go down. Make sure my everything's in focus. Go down, go down. Now I think I should be able to get a crack there. Yep, I got a crack. Spin. Good, crack. Rotate, rotate. Crack, rotate, and I'll do one more crack. And we got a small one there. All right, so let's go take out this piece first, out of the way first. Now here, vacuum it up to the center, protect the corneal endothelium. Make sure there's, make sure there's enough space for that be pieces are not bumping into the endothelium. The first couple pieces, you can, you don't have to really worry so much about the posterior capsule. You have to protect the endothelium more. But as you empty the bag with these quadrants, then you got to start worrying more about the posterior uh, capsule because there's nothing holding back the posterior capsule. So other than your second instrument, and I know the FACO machines right now are really good, but I still never trust it without a second instrument guarding it. Now I'm just vacuum, no FACO, because I'm by the cornea. Just vacuum. Good. Now, looks like I cleared up all the nuclear material. IA, please. Sorry, I wasn't sorry there. All right. And now, look towards the lights, FND Baba. As best as you can. Probably a little drowsy, which is okay. Alright, let's go in here this way. Pick out this piece. Now, start with sub incisional. Get this. Pull it away. And the other way. That's why I like the angle tip. Shallow eye, though, so the bag is relatively close to the incision, the posterior capsule, so you can aspirate it very easily. This is showing that it's not too hard. There you go. So I got everything, but I'm going to polish. Polish here. And BSS on the cornea, please. Oh, 
polish the capsule bag a little bit. It's okay if I get a little bit of wrinkling as long as I'm not, I'm not pulling. Like I'm aspirating, but I'm not pulling. Uh, visco, get a better view. Now BSS first, please. BSS first. Now I'm just irrigating the posterior capsule to minimize the need for gag cap, minimize the need and minimize the interference in interference of a PCO in the post-operative period because we're doing LAL. And now I'm going to inject this provisc right now, which is a cohesive, of course, uh, it's elastic. All right, polisher. So I am going to polish this finger sweep. Go all the way sub incisionally. Sweep all the way a couple times. Now. I'm going to go through the other incision and sweep the other side. All right. Now I'm going to expand the bag more and I'm going to make the incision to enlarge because the uh, LEL does not fit through a 2.4 incision, which is my main incision side. It's going to wiggle through. There you go. Now all the way. BSS on the cornea. Yep. I'm just going to inspect. All right, so there's a trailing haptic out. It's locked in. As I pass the lens through, we have the leading haptic coming forward, which it is. So we're good. Now, you may feel some pressure here during this part. Some people feel pressure, but we did, we just added numbing drops. Sorry, we have to get past the iris and the edge of the capsule. Clockwise turn. Now start rotating counterclockwise and just come out. Kublin. And we're just going to rotate this into the bag that's it we have the lal inside the bag right there we have a overlapping rexus what it looks like now i got the thicker sleeve because my earlier sleeve was for a 2.4 incision but now i changed the sleeve to a 2.75 to be expanded or 2.8 it can go either way So just remove all the viscoelastic as best as possible, tilting the lens, sub-incisionally, all that, rotate a little bit, see where it sits best. Now aspirate in the areas of the angle, make sure there's no more pieces there, no more viscoelastic sitting there, looks good. So now we're going to be ready to strongly hydrate. Turned off the irrigation first, then come out. Then that way the iris doesn't follow through with the surface tension of the ESS. Hydrate the incisions first. Roof of the incision is very important. All right, so now I think I have a watertight seal, but I'm gonna double check it. Still a little soft, let me make it a little, a little tighter. I want it around 21. And if you don't know what 21 is, you can use the phenometer from the eye stent kit and get used to what the eye feels like when it's there. So look, this is all dry. Nothing's stress tested, nothing's coming out. I'm gonna take moxifloxacin, all right? So this is an antibiotic. I'm gonna put a little bit here, but I need to check the incisions again. All right, add the lights if you can. We're gonna have a fresh wood cell. All right, so let's see. This is completely dry. Pressure is pretty good. It's around around a 20 pressure. Watertight incisions, beautiful. That's great. 
and we're basically all done. All right. Can you look at the light? Perfect. See how that LAL is perfectly overlapped with the Rexus Edge? I mean, it's it's a human Rexus, not a laser Rexus, but I think it's stronger and it's done. Uh, it's sized well and centered well. Uh, the more you do, the more you practice, the better you'll be. But Alhamdulillah, Salam Fendi Baba. You did very good. Very, very good. Alhamdulillah. Yes, all finished. All great. Have fun. You're welcome. So wet and dry. So sorry, some tape coming off. This is the uncomfortable part. Now I'm just going to take off the excess betadine, the cleanser, the antiseptic. Can I get a uh, dry as well? Does it hurt? No? Good. I'll give you a couple drops. That's good. That's perfect. Then the ointment. I apply ointment just because it uh, helps with comfort, but uh, vision's a little bit blurrier the first day out. But tomorrow will be really clear. All right, we're gonna put the sunglasses now. Take this off. Put the eye shield in the yep, perfect. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Clean okay, this. You look cool, like the Terminator. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. Move this. Then put your. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. Keep these on. Very good. Perfect. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Hey. Who is Leila? <gasps> you surprised me. I love you. Don't fall. Don't fall. Please don't fall. I love you. Mwah. All right. Here, record us. Ask your dad. Any pain during surgery? And you provide the chagrin and check Amelia for all of the. No. I'm done everything went good. He was the best patient. And Guzel patient. If you didn't do good, if you didn't do good, Amel was gonna really get mad at me. You know? So I love you, Amel. I need you, to sleep in my bed, I need to eat fresh dinner, you know, all that stuff. So I have to make sure you did great. <laughs> Too bad, no. John and Moore. <laughs> uh, no, you're welcome, you're welcome, alhamdulillah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you have to tell me what you're doing. Show, show. <laughs> I know, I know, clean, clean, very, very, very clean. And I try, and I try. Uh, right is clean. And now left, left is cloudy. Yeah, and we did this today because the mark, yeah. And then. <laughs> so, Hi, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah.